Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new boss sim. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about enumerations. Now if you remember from all of the previous tutorials we've been using variables. Now these pretty much have no limit except for integer has a limit of I think 4 billion something. So there is a limit there but you can pretty much put whatever you want into it. Now let's say you want to limit a user so that they can only put a certain value in. So let's say if you want them to tell you how many doors their car has, you wouldn't want them to be able to put 523 because that's impossible. So the way you can do get around this is by using enumerations. And what enumerations is, is it's pretty much creating your own data type and you can create as many vari variables as you want um, based off of that enumeration. So let's go ahead and create a project and we'll give this a little practice. So we'll go ahead we'll go to new project we'll select Windows Forms application and we'll call it enumerations and we'll go ahead and click OK now we'll wait for this to load okay so now let's go ahead and we will come over here to our, to our toolbox we'll add a button and we will just set the text to enumeration and we'll go ahead and set the name to button enumeration. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the code for form one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create an enumeration. Now to do this, we're going to declare it like we would a method or a function by starting off with the keyword public or private. So in this case, we'll do private. So private and then we're going to use the keyword enum for enumeration and now we have to create a name for it so let's just call it day action and you see it gets that light blue color and um, day action we're going to be using that in the upcoming tutorials uh, we're going to be learning several different things and we're going to use them all in one application so private enum day action and then we'll type as integer you have to specify a data type for that and now we'll go ahead and press enter now we have to populate our enumerations with possible values. So we'll just type awake equals zero, <clears throat> asleep equals one, and let's just do coding equals two. Okay, so now we can create a variable based off of this day action, such as we would make a variable that's an integer value so instead of doing private um, action as integer and set a value to that we would do it as day action now we can make as many of these as we want and they'll each be their own separate things holding different values so now what do we want to do we'll go ahead and set that equal to 2 which is going to be coding so we'll go ahead and create a click event for button enumeration and we'll go ahead and show what um, action is currently being performed. So we'll type message box dot show action dot to string. So if we go ahead and run this, we're going to get form one right here. And when we click enumeration, it says coding. Now we can set day action to different values as well. So if we'll give this a little bit of time to load. So we'll set it equal to one and it should give us a sleep. So if we go ahead and run this and click enumeration, we get a sleep. Now, you don't have to set it to an integer value or let's say you create an enumeration as a string or anything else. So you would have, we have all of these names right here for the possible values. So instead of actually putting in the integer, which we may not know what it equals so if we put in zero we will what if we don't know that means awake so what we can do <clears throat> is type day action and you can see here down in IntelliSense it gives us several options so we can do day action dot we can do asleep awake and coding so if we click awake action is going to be equal to zero and it's going to be equal to awake so to set it equal to something that you want uh, that is the name in your enumeration you type 
the name of your enumeration dot and then whatever you, name you have for that certain value so if we go ahead and run this we'll go ahead and click enumeration and we get awake so go ahead and practice with enumerations make some that are other data types besides integer uh, they may be a little confusing at first they were for me uh, it's kind of a, a, a little bit hard concept to grasp uh, if you're a new programmer so um, go ahead and practice with those and we're going to be using it in the next upcoming tutorials so um, just get used to them so you won't be confused in the next tutorial and thanks for watching